Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel for another 112 scale figure and unboxing review video. And today we are going to look at this Medicom Mayfax number 091 Black Panther. And yes, this is the reissue version of it. This is the second release of it. Just to note to you guys that I did not get the Black Panther that was released last year. So maybe it's quite hard for me to make a side by side comparison with this one but not to worry i will try to get some materials from google and we can see what is the differences or uh, if he got some upgrades or any kind of improvement uh, with this figure and yeah bear with me as i unveil the details uh, later in the video so before i unbox this figure i just wanted to tell you the side story of how i got this figure and if you could remember, early of this year, we got a sad news of Chadwick Boseman passing. And that was a really, really sad news for, I mean, for all of the fans, all of the Black Panther fans, all the MCU fans. And it was really sad. And by that time, people were trying to get this figure even more. At that time, it wasn't available in any local toy shop or any retailers and the only way you can get this is from ebay which the pricing is extremely high and at that time i wasn't so sure if i could uh, make such a huge commitment so i pulled the trigger and stopped searching for it and what do you know after a few months later i saw a pre-order listing in amiami website and at that moment i just grabbed the opportunity to place my order there and this is how i come by with this figure so if you are interested with this figure i will share a link in the description below and that's about that so we continue with this uh figure review and i'm going to start from the box design first so i'm going to start with this front of the box now we can see this is the clear type of window boxes and we can see all the accessories at this side and the figure on this side and at the bottom we get this uh, movie title for black panther and then the character name for this figure uh, which is i think the only one uh, f the only figure that has been released uh, with this uh, black panther series so maybe we could get uh, more uh, figures from this series and they're using this figure as a uh, front image for these boxes and then we got this brand manifacts the number of this figure and then this is the company that makes this uh, figure so and then we got uh, this uh, avengers logo over here which is very nice and then at the side of the box we got the same uh, repeating information as uh, in front of the box so that is quite nice and then at the top of the box is the black panther movie title and this is also repeating the black panther movie title and then this one i think is to recreate the car chasing scene in this movie yeah and then at the back of the figure is all the promotional shot for this figure and all of its accessories that we're going to get to uh, look at it a few moments later and then at the bottom of the box is the legalities and warnings which is yeah this is unreadable uh, legalities and warnings so let's crack this figure open So guys, that was the unboxing process and as you can see here, all the accessories and the figure looks fine and there's nothing missing on the accessories and even the figure also looks very great. And at the first glance, you can see that this might be the perfect representation for Black Panther. Yeah, there is no broken joint or anything like that. It came quite good. but. We're going to look at it a little bit more later and now I'm going to take out all of these uh, accessories and we're going to look at it a little more detail. So guys, 
here are the accessories that has been given to us with this black panther and we have several sets of hands and we have this uh, short spear and we have two interchangeable heads and one is with this figure itself and we also get this uh, base which I'm not going to open it because I'm not going I'm not going to use it anyway so we can yeah just put it aside and we're going to focus on this uh, accessories starting from uh, his hands so uh, we're going to look at this uh, sets of hands which is looking pretty much similar uh, what I mean is that this uh, hands has uh, open types of hands but different type of gesture as you can say like that and yeah because of uh, Black Panther uses his nails as a primary weapon one of the primary weapon besides his uh, indestructible uh, suit so as you can see here the detail is very nice very clear and all the sculpting is you can see on the different types of uh, shades of black and this is one of the same gesture but a little more uh, closer in 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 terms of its uh, design so that is pretty neat too as you can see that it's pretty sharp so you might want to be careful when handling this uh, accessories so this is the only uh, type of hands that is closed but I think this one is mainly for holding the spears so this is the spear the short spear and then uh, what you can do is how to install this one is you could just uh, remove this and as you can see there is a uh, some sort of uh, segmentation or section there so you have to uh, look at it properly so you can install it like that all right so you just push this inside the hands be careful not to break it because this is quite tight and yeah so you find the angle the correct angle and then you just peg it in so voila this is how it would look like yeah so enough about that moving on next is the head sculpt i'm going to look at this head sculpt that is on the figure and as we go closer we're going to do close up and you can see all the profile for this uh, black panther head sculpt is pretty neat and you can see all the detailing executed very well you can see all the different types of uh, black um, and then you get a shiny black over there and then you got the detailing for the black panther tribe you know all the good stuff and then we got this mad black throughout this uh, base head and we also get this overlay of uh, highlights silver highlights on his face even on his eyes and nose and we got this some detail on the mouth which looks like a panther right that is very great so uh, the differences between this head sculpt is practically the same head sculpt the differences is only on his eyes you can see the t'challa eyes in this head sculpt and that is pretty neat and they managed to capture the you know the eyes of the king yeah this might be the one that i'm going to use it later in my display yeah so i think the big differences with this head sculpt is this uh chadwick boseman portrait t'challa portrait and let me share with you the link you can immediately see the differences between the first release version and this reissue version the color tone with on his face is uh, a little bit more uh, you know this one is not shiny and it does look like a skin tone and I like that and all the hair scalp is pretty neat 
the detail on it is pretty good and yes you can see this uh, likeness is more accurate than this other version and as you can see at the picture here this was uh, this was a review by the Fush, if I'm not mistaken and yeah looking at it close that the previous version has like an orange type of uh, pen apps on the face but this one is just a single color I think there is no much uh, layering on his uh, face which is pretty good I like this one better the eyes the pen application on his eyes is much more better and yeah that is the differences that I noticed with this head sculpt and maybe probably the the sculpt itself is the same but the paint application on his face is just uh, different upgraded they and they maybe have the time to you know try to redo it again so I just wish that they could do it the first time around so people wouldn't have to you know try to get this one for the second time just to get this uh, the reissue version of uh, Chadwick Boseman likeness but it is a great uh, head sculpt for me I think this uh, might be the superior one yeah and now we're going to take a look at this uh, figure itself and as you can see here I watched many reviews of this Black Panther and uh, what I notice is that maybe there is not much of improvement on the figure itself maybe it's just the same mold and the same articulation for him which is good uh, I think there's they they save a lot of uh, time there and then maybe the upgrade was just on the head sculpt yeah as you can see there is a lot of detailing on his body throughout his body and even with this base body we have its own texture on it if you can see all the small small detail on his suit so and then we got some shiny black pattern is it correct uh, is it uh, this is the pattern right throughout his body as you can see here they really went pretty good with this one and yeah and there is some highlights with the silver color as his necklace his uh, on his gauntlet as you can see here all the detailing for his gauntlet and then uh, on his waist you can see this silver thingy on his waist and then on his uh, shin guard you can see that that is pretty good and even his uh, on his boots or maybe his feet I don't know what to call it but yeah there is some highlights there uh, with the silver color maybe representing the uh, claw of a panther yeah and then moving at its articulation as you can see here this is a basic articulation there's a ball joint there so just a standard uh, articulation looking up looking down uh, facing side to side tilt side to side that is pretty good you can rotate all the way and then the neck is a separate piece so you can actually get more uh, movement uh, with his uh, head you know and then moving forward on his uh, arm we got this butterfly joint and then the arms can rotate 360 he has a swivel at his arm which is good this is bicep swivel really you know going to help his uh, articulation and uh, movement on posing some some action poses and then we got this double jointed elbow past 90 which is pretty good it's a little bit hindered but I'm, I'm okay with it and then rotation and hinges on his hand which is very good it got a uh, it has a what do you call it a pack and it's just uh, pretty easy to install the alternate hand and it's pretty quite tight fit it's not loose which is pretty good 
and then coming down to the uh, middle section here he got this uh, torso articulation which he can maneuver side to side front and back and then we got extra on his waist so yeah he will going to do very dynamic poses with this kind of articulation definitely definitely he will moving at his leg section we have i think not pretty much a drop down technique there and then we got this swivel on his thigh he can kick forward that far and then not too much on the back but it's okay he got double jointed knee and then there is no swivel on the shin guard so there is only swivel on his uh, ankle there he has ankle pivot which is pretty nice he could move that far and then stretch is uh, from that far so yeah there is pretty good articulation there and then this is the boot uh, what do you call that hinges on the toe so the joint is pretty tight as you can see here you can see you can hear the squeezing of the plastic between the plastic yeah Mayfeck has a history of uh, losing uh, no not losing uh, has a, a loose type of joint but as they go forward with his design with, with their design the QC issue is getting better there is no uh, serious QC issue so yeah we can get him into very dynamic poses and if you want to change the head it's pretty simple it's just like it's just like that see that that is pretty neat and then if you want to uh, change to Chadwick Boseman uh, head it's pretty easy you just pack this in there you go so this is him right now let's move on is comparison scale comparison yeah and now we are going to do a scale comparison and i do have the sh figure arts uh, most of the avengers character and i will do a side by side comparison like this and as you can see here that black panther from sh figure arts a little bit taller than him but i think in his scale i think with the other character he scales pretty well and I love the the balance of this uh, old character and yeah I think this might be my Black Panther uh, that I'm going to use in my Infinity War display and yeah I'm pretty happy that he turned out to be good just to wrap up on this review I think this is an excellent figure and the amount of accessories that he has is the same as the previous version of Black Panther and then the figure also is very sturdy there is no QC issues and which Mayfax tends to do if you are familiar with Mayfax and then I think yeah the only upgrades that they did is the head sculpt of Chadwick Boseman or T'Challa and they have repainted the color differently from the last releases and it does look much more accurate to the actor and for those who have or doesn't have it I think you should have this figure because I think this is the closest representation uh, that we're going to get from Black Panther that is really really accurate and I just love the head the new head sculpt it just uh, I'm, I'm thankful that I didn't get the last one so having him in hand in my collection is just a blessing
One thing I noticed with Medicom, Mayfax, they tend to reissue a few famous or popular figures such as the Dark Knight Rises, which we have three iterations of the Batman, and then we have the Spider-Man Homecoming, which we have 1.5 version of Tom Holland's head, and then we also have this upcoming Iron Spider, because we already have the Iron Spider previously, but they tend to re-release the figure in a much more better accessories and head sculpt so that is the trend of uh, them producing their figures so I, I think that is really uh, you know a bummer because we as a collector have to buy it all over again with those figures and I think they they should actually uh, finalize their design before producing any figure so that is just my opinion and okay That's the review and I want to know what do you think about this figure. Is it good? Is it great? Or is it a pass? Uh, just leave a comment below and we'll discuss it. Alright, so if you feel this video informative enough and if you like it, share with others. Please like and subscribe. Do all the good stuff. Until then, I'll catch you in my next video. Sayonara.